Hi everyone, my name is David Halewood and I'm going to show you a quick and easy technique in order to memorise things. But firstly, some audience participation. So raise your hands if you're confident you can remember an 11 digit number without writing it down or putting it in your phone. Put your hands up if you're confident you can remember it and give it back to me an hour later, a day later, or a year later. That's okay, I can't either, unless I use this technique that I'll show you. So the thing is, it's okay, that's exactly it's okay. The thing is, we each of us have a supercomputer. We each have a brain that's capable of amazing things, but we don't know how to use it. We were never given an instruction manual how to learn things properly. So the thing is now, people can learn amazing things. There's actually a record for memorizing pi. Somebody memorized pi, that's 3.1475, blah, 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 to 70,000 decimal places. Now the first question is why? I mean, like, obviously, why, why would you want to do that? But somebody did it. Somebody did it to 70,000 decimal places. If they can do it, we can. That's what we're going to do tonight. No, it's not, no, it's not. Believe me, it's not going to be here for like six months. We're not going to do pi tonight. Instead, we're going to learn a simple number. So what's the secret? How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? The secret that people in a fortune doing. You see, the simple thing is, memory doesn't work with numbers. So a number by itself doesn't mean a thing to us. But if we convert it to an image, then we can remember it. It's as simple as that. That's all it is. We just convert it to an image, an image that means something, and we can remember any number we want. Now, obviously, there's different ways of doing that. We're going to use a simple system tonight, but we're going to memorize a fact, all of us. And if we can bring in our other senses, such as taste, smell, touch, it makes the image stronger, and therefore we remember it better. So that's what we're going to do. So we're all on the next slide. A bit ahead. So I need you to follow me now. So for the number zero, remember a hero, it's like Superman. For the number one, a scone or a scone if you're from Chester. Number two <laughs> is shoe. Number three is tree. Four is door. Simple as that. We're all on to the next ones now. Five is hive, a beehive. Number six is sticks, wooden sticks. Seven is heaven, so just imagine angels playing a harp or whatever. Number eight is gate, whatever gate, metal or wooden. And number nine is wine. Bottle of wine, nice bottle of red wine. That's all we need to remember. Now we're going to use a journey. Now we're going to use the magnificent Liverpool Town Hall. So we're going to go really fast now. The next nine slides to the left. Just follow me. You're all going to do it. It's going to be amazing. So we're going to start off at the balcony on Liverpool Town Hall. So on the balcony is going to be. Imagine a friend called John. John is wearing a gold crown. The sun is shining off. It's hitting our eyes. We're like that. We see John up there. What's John doing there? The, the crowd are cheering this John. I mean, this is John who's thick as so and so, but the crowd love him. So remember John. Next we're inside, we're at the reception. Just imagine a scone. Now we're trying to get into the reception door, there's a scone blocking our way. A big scone, there's cream and jam, and oh, it tastes gorgeous. This scone is like everywhere. Oh, we're covered in jam and cream. That's another thing, anyway. Next we're in, we're inside, we're in the reception. We're not allowed to cross this Milton floor, this, this tiles. Instead, there's this old shoe. One of the giants has left a the shoe there. So we scramble across this shoe. It's a bit smelly like leather old shoe. We scramble across this shoe to get to the next part. Next, we're at the bottom of the stairs. We want to go up. Superman's there, a hero. We can jump on his back. He takes us straight to the top. So Superman takes us up to the next level. At the next level, we're going to be there in a minute. Superman, he's being too fast. Come on. Right, next level, we look up and we can see angels all around us. We're looking up to the dome in Liverpool Town Hall and we can see angels. So we've got now five images. First image is a person, King John, and the sex one, to say, the next one. <laughs> is that Scott and Jam? <laughs> so let's recap. We've got on the balcony, John wearing the crown. We've got the Scott, which represents number one. We've got reception, the shoe, which represents number two. The next one is hero, which is zero. And the last one is the dome, which is seven. And what's that for? You've just got a fact there. King John, the image found at Liverpool by Royal Charter in 1207. So if you're ever on a quiz, somebody asks you that, you can now remember the name when King John founded Liverpool. And that's all it is. Just convert numbers to images and you remember it. You can use it for pin codes, birthdays. I still know people who carry the pin code in a diary in the pair, in, in, in the bag. It's a four digit number, just memorise it, put some facts behind it and you've got it for life. So the journey could be your house, going around different rooms. Anyway, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've learned something. Thank you.